Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and thank you for joining me today. We're going to be using our gel press, um, colour box and some lovely brushes. So to start with I'm going to be using chocolate and that's from the colour box range. And we don't need too much of this, it's, um, it's a strong colour. So just blend that over the top okay and that's all we need for that and I'm going to use the okra Prussian blue and also the lime green. And let's see what we get. Okay, so I've got our white multifarious card here. So I'm going to just pop that down over the top, give that a smooth over. Wow, that Prussian blue is so lovely, kind of makes things look a little bit vintagey, if that's a word. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Let's just move those out of the way. I'm going to trim that down. Okay, so I'm going to give that a little bit of a dry. And they, these are water-based inks and paints anyway, so um, you, it doesn't take much to dry them, but I want to make sure it is dry before I stamp on top. Okay, so I'm going to be using our lovely fairy chain. going to ink this in the Nocturne. Okay, so I'm going to pop that down, we're on. Give that a good press. Right, hopefully I've covered all that area. Put a nice bit of pressure on it, let it set for a while. And there we go. Okay. And now I'm going to just ground the fairies by tearing some paper. And then just covering their feet, their little, little tiny dainty feet. And then taking a smoothie and twilight. I'm going to just go along the edge there. Okay, now to give it a little bit more depth, 
I'm going to use the Nocturne but we're only going to use a tiny tiny bit we don't want it to be too dark but this will really give it depth there we go so you can see from that now you can see where the twilight is which is the lovely sort of blue and then the very very top there is the black and that really does define that line so I'm going to take our piece of acetate And I'm going to work my way around the edge. And there we go. Okay. So at the moment, the moon looks part of the sky so um, we're going to bleach the colour out of that and when I say bleach I don't mean literally bleach I just mean a little bit of water will do the job so I'm just going to let a little bit of water lie on top and this will start sort of activating the colours underneath And you don't need to worry about your stamped image because that's in VersaFine, which is an oil-based ink, so it won't affect the image at all. Okay. So if you just leave it for a little while and then start dabbing that colour out and you can see then how that makes that moon look more solid so I'm going to dry that off I'm going to go around the edge now so back to twilight or shall we use let's use warm breeze going to give a little bit more depth to the corners and then I'm going to pop some glitter along the ground so using my glue pen I'm just going to follow that line that we made for the the ground and let's use the blue glitter This is a glittery gel pen. You might not be able to see this under the camera but 
it just adds a little bit of sparkle without it being too overpowering. It's a great one for wings because it's completely transparent so you're not covering up your stamped image but you're giving the wings that little bit of a sparkle and I'll hold it up to the light and I'm hoping that you can see this but I don't think it needs an awful lot more to be honest okay right let me just find that there I think I think you might be able to see that I'm hoping so I just wanted to show you how um, quick and easy you can create a card and that's just using one stamp so I hope you enjoyed that guys thanks for watching you take care and we'll speak real soon. Bye for now.